Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Be Light Aircraft Recovering from Facility Fire, Applications Open for Qantas Group Pilot Academy, and Hummel Aircraft Plants July 6 Gathering. Welcome to the show, I'm Sophie Herlock. Last Friday night, Be Light Aircraft was alerted by local emergency services personnel that a fire was taking place in their factory. In a Facebook post, James and Karen Weeby stated, Arriving a few minutes later, the scene was filled with trucks and emergency vehicles and swarms of firemen and water hoses. It appears the fire started at our CNC router dust collection system. Intense smoke filled the building and my office and much of our building contents was destroyed. The back area of the building, in the production area, everything higher than six feet off the ground was melting or burned. Much of our raw inventory and all of our older collections of parts for older aircraft designs, for instance Pro Cub and Ultra Cub, was upstairs. It appears that almost all raw inventory and most if not all Work in progress for aircraft kits was destroyed. The team had just shipped four airframe kits and was getting ready to ship another batch this month, along with many back order parts for customers. I have been working hard on an Air Force contract and my IP along with my sole working samples were found in the debris of my office. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. With all this news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. Two Purdue University teams competing in this year's Air Race Classic are friends, but once they take to the skies, the pilots admit everyone's competitive nature takes over. Purdue University is represented by Tiffany Imhoff, a senior, and her co-pilot junior, Nina Bouthier. Both are students in the professional flight program. Representing Purdue Pilots Incorporated are pilot Kathy Troyer and co-pilot Morgan Pye Trutch, and in-plane team member Denise Whitford, an assistant professor in the College of Education. Veteran NASA astronaut Michael Good is retiring from NASA after flying two space shuttle missions and helping the commercial crew program get off the ground. After 35 years of government service in the U.S. Air Force and at NASA, May 31st was his last day with the agency. Negotiations are getting serious between Mitsubishi Heavy Industry and Bombardier for the Japanese company's acquisition of the CRJ program. Bombardier has been discussing a sale of the CRJ program with several entities, but now the negotiations with Mitsubishi are exclusive and in their late stages. Industry analysis believe an announcement of the sale could be made at the Paris Air Show. The FAA has broken ground on a new air traffic control tower and terminal radar approach control at Piedmont Triad International Airport in Greensboro, North Carolina. The agency will invest $61 million in the new facility. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. 
based on the popular Sling 2 LSA. The Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Applications are being accepted for the new Qantas Group Pilot Academy scheduled to open its doors in Toowoomba, Australia in September. The Academy is part of Qantas Group's strategy to build a long-term talent pipeline for its airlines. Estimates suggest that 790,000 more pilots will be required globally over the next 20 years. Qantas has appointed Flight Training Adelaide as the training provider for the Toowoomba site. FTA will bring a mix of modern signal and twin-engine aircraft with glass cockpits to support the training with a mentoring program that will involve some of the Qantas Group's most senior pilots. The Academy course has been designed to train students with little to no flying experience and includes both theory and practical components. After graduation, students will join Qantas Group's pilot talent pool and have access to opportunities with partners in the aviation industry. Qantas will also be offering a scholarship program. Hummel will be hosting a Hummel Gathering July 6 at Williams County Airport in Northwest Ohio. The company will display the Ultra Cruiser, H5, and Hummel Bird and is open to anybody who enjoys aviation. The Hummelbird is of all metal construction. Sheet metal is simplest, fastest, and most economical way to build an aircraft, as Art Rempel has proven with his building a Hummingbird and engine in three months building time. Construction is very rugged and is stressed for up to six Gs. The Ultra Cruiser was designed as the first all-metal ultralight in 1998, intended for first-time builders as well as first-time pilots. The Ultra Cruiser is an easy-to-build and even easier-to-fly aircraft. The design can be built straight from plans up to and including a full building kit. The H-5 was designed to be a roomier airplane to accommodate someone over 200 pounds and or 6 feet tall. It is intended for 65 to 85 HP, with most being built for a VW conversion engine, and is available with tricycle or conventional landing gear. And that was our last story of the day. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And for real-time updates on the latest aviation aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you back here tomorrow.